say the Democrats will maintain control, but my next guest says not so fast. George Allen, the Republican running for Senate in Virginia, he barely lost last time by just a tenth of a point or so. Right now the polls have him even with Tim Kaine this time. By the way, we reached out to uh, Tim Kaine's office, have not heard back. Um, they just keep blowing us off. But I tell you that, you know, we hopefully we'll hear back, but they just keep blowing us off. Anyway, um, Senator, uh, Governor, good to have you. What do you think the Senate looks like right now if you had to handicap it? Well, I think it's very close, and all we can do, Neil, is uh, make sure that we win Virginia. We have a tight race in Virginia, but my wife Susan and I are working hard all over Virginia. We're very encouraged by the enthusiasm we see that uh, people envision a better future than what we're having to endure these days. And Virginians care about jobs and the economy, this, this latest threat coming out of failed Washington leadership on the sequestration, which is causing over 200,000 jobs in our defense industries. Uh, and jobs in Virginia being at, at risk, and, and obviously our military readiness being harmed. I was listening to Jack Welsh. He's exactly on target. What we see in Virginia is people in Washington with the EPA regulations outlawing coal, which is causing thousands of job losses in communities in southwest Virginia. And I've told Virginians on day one, if I'm sworn in as your senator, I'm introducing a bill to allow us in Virginia to produce oil and natural gas off our coast and use the royalties for roads and transportation. And with Mitt Romney in the White House, he'll be saying yes to Virginia, uh, jobs and energy from our coal fields to our coast. And, and we can really have a, a manufacturing renaissance and also more affordable fuel and electricity and, uh, and a better quality of life. So we're, we're trying to motivate and inspire people for positive, constructive ideas that can get our country ascending once again. And no. I want to be Virginia senator. My opponent wants to be President Obama. All right, well, you've got a, a very good campaign pitch going there. I do want to talk a little bit about um, what you would do if you did get to the Senate. Now, it would be a lame duck session of the Senate and Congress in general that would have to handle some of these pressing issues, this fiscal cliff that uh, Jack Welch has talked about and you just alluded to with the sequestration cuts. Uh, there is talk about just extending all of those uh, Bush rates, all of those cuts, putting them off for six months, maybe even a year so that either a re-elected President Obama or newly elected President Romney can, can get their respective arms around this and either hammer out a new tax code, a simpler tax code, or something like that. Do you think that's likely? I would like to see that happen. I, I don't think raising taxes in this weak economy would do anything other than put people out of work. The best way to raise revenues is with a vibrant economy and people working and getting a paycheck rather than worrying about unemployment benefits being extended. And I do think that there's a basis for an agreement, a bipartisan agreement to reform our tax code, to make it more simple, more fair, more competitive, remove the loopholes, particularly for businesses where right now American businesses are hit with the worst tax in the world at 35%. The international average is 25 percent. I've been advocating 20 percent. And if that were done, over 500,000 new jobs would be created. And the dynamics of it, there would be over $23 billion in new, new revenues. And also unleashing our energy resources. All, the, all throughout our country, the federal government could get over $1 trillion in revenues without raising taxes. So I'd like to see the, the people in both parties come together and work out a, a more simple, fair, and uh, I think a job-creating tax system than the very complicated one that we have right now that puts American job creators at a competitive disadvantage. All right, Senator, very good having you. Uh, be well. I'll do my very best. Thank you, Neil. All right, Senator. Uh, the